Where the World is directed by Steven Spielberg. This is one of the most elaborate sets in Hollywood history. Seriously. That is a real 747 airplane. We're going to stop so you can take pictures. Go ahead and stand up. Here's Rick Carter, production designer, and Steven Spielberg to tell you about making this set. Down to talk about the world, and world. I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. If you do make it because of me, as if you have that, listen, I want you to close your eyes. Or the world stretch top cruise of the Code of Manny, of course. Robbie, get in. Get in. Get in. Alright everybody, go ahead and take your seats, remain seats for the rest of the tour. We're gonna take off. Now it's the production designer's job to come out here and make this mess and he didn't have to clean it up. Kids, career options. Think about it. Now, all this destruction of mayhem has me a little stressed. I think we need to head to the great outdoors for some vacation time and get some fresh air. All right, everybody, welcome. The cabin on the right-hand side is the cabin from the great outdoors with John Candy and Dan Aykroyd. Blown-up CGI style and shooter with Mark Wahlberg, a ladies' retreat in Desperate Housewives. And this is where Craig T. Nelson lived in coach. We talked about him earlier. He stars in Parenthood for NBC. Now, this is our Falls Lake area called Falls Lake because back where that giant green screen is, we used to have a waterfall. In fact, this is where TLC filmed their Jason Waterfalls. That music video. We took the waterfall out, put in one of the biggest green screens on the planet. Green screen technology works hand in hand with CGI technology. Many things have filmed here. Inception with Leo DiCaprio, where he washes up. Run through. All systems check. This one's for real, guys, so watch out. And action! <laughs> Carmo, a couple of our picture cars here. Oh. Boys, go ahead and take a bow. Very good. Now, do you have any other moves, let's say, dance moves you'd like to show the people? <laughs> yeah, you do. I can't afford gasoline. That's the lyrics. All right, that's motion control technology at its best right now, okay? Now, these performances are exactly the same every single time without varying by even an inch. Now, only in Hollywood are you going to see German cars dancing to reggaeton music in the middle of Tokyo. You're welcome, world. All right, we're going to leave these guys behind here. Leave Tokyo. You boys look good. Good dancing. You can catch them on Dancing with the Cars on ABC. All right, I'm taking you guys now to Little Island off the coast of Costa Rica. Control, go ahead and turn off the water, please. Contr control. And then, oh, that's too late. Whoa, no, no, it's camping. Uh, guys, I can't keep the water turned off. We're going to have a flash flood coming your way. Sorry. Now that's our flash flood special effect right there, created by dumping thousands, literally thousands of gallons from the top of that hill on down to us. But don't worry everyone, we are going green here at Universal. We recycle that water back into the water fountains in the park for your drinking pleasure. And enjoy it and check out the clip and make that wire, which I am. Nice. <laughs> I think that wire says Paul Giamatti, Paul Giamatti's stuntman, Amanda Bynes, and Frankie oh, Nunez. Yikes. Alright, now uh, our old Mexico set's been used, like I said, in Three Amigos, Community, Shameless, Big Fat Liar, Hop, uh, Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Lady Gaga filmed her Judas video here. Lots of different projects have happened. Uh, here now we are heading down. 
part of our western set here. This is one of the oldest parts of our back lot. This is Six Points, Texas. Now, a lot of westerns have been filmed here. Year one of production alone, 200 western films were made. Granted, they were short films, but back then the filmmaking process was still new and quite difficult. Now in western, the good cowboy sees the bad cowboy in the streets, and they have a duel. Here's one of my favorite duels, shot right here at Six Points. Big enough for the both of us, Jimmy Fallon. Well, I ain't going anywhere, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> now look here. Nice folks in this tram don't want no trouble. They just want to check out Six Points, one of the oldest sets on the Universal Lot. I only just where John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart shot a few of their westerns. That's right. That's where I aim to shoot you. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a Mexican standoff. Lucky shot. Now let's see you mount up and get out of town while the game's good. All right. Well, I'll see you again, fellas. Or you can count on the gun. Of course. I get it. Of course. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Well, we just have to talk it out, that's all. I think we're going to mosey on out of here, too, Jimmy, and say adios to Six Points, Texas. Now, as we come down this line, take a look off the left-hand side. You can see a great example of a facade. We're going to round the corner. You're going to be able to see the back of it is held up by two by fours. And there's a lot of cool things I'm going to show you that are going to kind of lift that bill of secrecy like we were talking about. I'm going to show you an underwater tank. Now, this underwater tank was used in Dragnet with Dan Aykroyd and Tom Hanks. Now, we use it so that we can film underwater scenes like this one here without getting our cameras wet. We put our actors inside of the uh, underwater tank, and we have portals there that we can see into with the cameras, so the cameras stay dry. Help! 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 All right. Now, uh, as we round the corner, I want to show you this patch of grass here off to the right-hand side has been used as any park, mostly Central Park. We get our establishing shot of Central Park, we cut in here for the close-up to see actors. You can never tell the difference. Off to your left hand side, the line of state signs from Back to the Future. That's where Marty McFly lives. Now we're coming up to a body of water. You're going to be able to see it off to your right hand side as we pass the uh, park area. This is this body of water has been used in The Creature from the Black Lagoon, Showboat, the live action Tarzan. It's been used in Psycho, where Norman Bates dumped off his victims. Psycho 2, where the victims were found. And uh, we're going to be coming to show you a little behind the scenes action. We saw King Kong 360 3D when we went to Skull Island and saw King Kong. But now we're going to head back for a little bit so I can show you guys uh, a little uh, behind the scenes action of King Kong. Now uh, we're going to the Red Sea. Let me show you this real quick. Some behind the scenes footage. Now this is the SS Venture on your screens right now. This is the ship that they uh, used in King Kong. Peter Jackson filmed here. We're going to go below sea level, so if you have anything on the ground, please pick it up so it doesn't get too wet. Now off to your left-hand side, you're going to see the SS Venture. It's actually not a real ship, it's a miniature model. It's a very big model, so we call it a miniature. But it's a model, one of the oldest techniques in filming. Pretty epic stuff, huh? Get a little King Kong action there. Now off to your left hand side, you can see all this stuff is just laying out. We're not having a garage sale, I'll tell you that. This is our props department. That big building back there is the Edith Head building where we keep our props and costumes. Edith Head was a uh, multi Academy Award winning costume designer. She was brilliant. She's worked on a lot of your uh, favorite films. IMDB her. It's very interesting seeing her career. She's had a great career. Now we're heading to our little Europe sets. These sets can double as any European country. Italy, Spain, France, Germany, England, whatever it needs to be, with just a few set changes. Check out how Jimmy Fallon used this same location three different times.
Mi chiamo Jimmy Farron e tu un gros bottiglia di vino. Merda mia! Je m'appelle Jimmy Farron. Je vais avoir été baguette. Non, Charlie, non! Hallo, ik ben Jimmy Fallon. Ja, Schnitzel. Ik glaub, die schiet af niet. All quiet on the western front. The first three Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, let's see. Curb Your Enthusiasm and many others have filmed back here. Including our monster movies. We're coming up now on your right-hand side to the Court of Miracles. This is where a lot of our famous monster films have uh, gotten their start with their lynch mobs coming out to the monster. Frankenstein, the mummy. Uh, Invisible Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Dracula, Wolfman, the list goes on and on. If you guys look closely, you can see the Invisible Man. Wow. A lot of you looked, huh? That's not embarrassing at all. Let's talk about it. Raise your hand if you look. There's a lot of lying going on in my tram today. That's great. <laughs> Alright, now monster movies have had a big effect, even on filmmakers. Check this out. Famous filmmakers, tell me about their I think experience. We don't think of monsters. Dracula, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, the Bride of Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, The Invisible Man, Phantom of the Opera. Classic films are just brilliantly made. That Frankenstein image. Flathead.